Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does watch, like, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Yes, my background has changed. Um, I'm traveling right now, so, um, you know, happy New Year's to everybody. Happy holidays to all you people. I hope you folks had a good time with your families. Uh, so trolls, do not keep commenting that my background has changed. I know that, okay? I, I'm moving. I'm, I'm on the move, so... Um, this is going to be my recap for the Bills-Jets game. Uh, you know, Jets beat the Bills 13-6. to Again, I'm happy whenever the Jets win. I, I'm more than happy to take a W. But I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm necessarily happy with our performance against the Bills, like, second or third stringers. <laughs> I mean, you know, the Bills are playoff bound. They started pulling their guys out, you know, fairly early. And we were still struggling to move the ball offensively. And that really perplexed me because these guys, they're, they're their backups. Like, why are we struggling so much? Um, you know, you look at Sam, and I, I didn't think he necessarily looked that great in this game. He looked okay. He missed throws. Um, there was that interception. The play calling, yet again, was spotty from Adam Gaze. The wildcat call, I thought that that was, I mean... Just Adam Gay stuff. Um, getting exposed again in this game. I just wasn't necessarily um, happy with our performance. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll take the W any way it comes. No matter how ugly it is, I'll take it. But, you know, particularly with Sam, I think we were all looking for Sam to really finish the year strong. Um, you know, you look at Sam throughout this year and, you know, I know that the talent's there. I know that he's got it. I know that he could be our franchise quarterback, but for, you know, a myriad of reasons, Adam Gaze, so on and so forth, I don't know if he's necessarily took the gigantic step forward that we all thought that he would take this year. You know, we've seen the flashes, you know, throughout the year, here and there, but when you look at Sam, you would think that he would really have really asserted himself this year, like, hey, boom, I'm one of the franchise guys, um, you know, I'm a big time guy in this league and, you know, everybody we've talking about Sam, but that has not happened this year. Um, and so I'm hoping that next year he'll really be able to take that step forward. Um, I know that Gaze has been a hindrance. I know that the offensive line in particular has been a hindrance The play calling, which is Gaze again, has been a hindrance. But I'm hoping that that gets kind of cleaned up this offseason, particularly, you know, with some of the moves on the roster that we're probably going to make. Um, you know, we got a draft, we got free agency. There could be trades that are going to be made as well. Um, but, yeah, things have got to change up uh, because Sam, you know, Sam really needs to be put in the, the best position to be able to make plays and be comfortable back there in the pocket. Um, so, you know, like I said, I, I'll take a W any day, but I'm just, I really want to see this team kind of change in the off season. Because um, we all know the Gaze is not going to get fired. He's going to be here next year. So I'm not even going on about that at all. I understand those of you fans that are upset. <laughs> and there's been a lot of people that have been very vocal. And, you know, I respect every fan. And I respect everyone's opinion. But I'm not even going to talk about that anymore because he's going to be here. Um, but there definitely needs to be moves made upon this roster to help, you know, improve and, and bolster the talent here. And Joe Douglas who's this general manager that everybody loves. And, you know, I think he's he's got what it takes. He's He's got to show up in a big way this offseason. We've got a pivotal draft coming up. Uh, you know, we have draft capital. He's got to use it wisely, and he's really got to address holes on this, this team within this roster. He's got to. Uh, we also have, you know, quite a bit of cash in free agency. He's got to be smart about that. So this is going to be the first year where he's really going to have his hands on the team with all, you know, all the stuff he's going to have at his disposal, and he's got to do whatever it takes to really get the job done here for us and have us competitive. So so with that said, please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, you know, again, I want to thank you folks for, for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. You folks are the best. Comment down below and let me know what you folks think about how the Jets ended the season. Uh, what were some of your takeaways from the Jets season? Uh, what are your thoughts about Sam Darnold? Um, you know, and, and Le'Veon Bell as well going into the offseason. Do you think the Jets, you know, uh, the usage uh, of him on this team, do you think it was it was good or bad? Or what were your thoughts on it? So, again, folks, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.